what up guys welcome to another youtube tutorial for the making beats for fun series this is just a quick breakdown on how i go about doing my video tutorials for youtube i'm using a program called screenflow it's version 7.0 and i'm recording my internal sound plus the mic so i'm running a macbook pro with the os high sierra and i've got an audio interface a scarlet 212 that's going through to the USB on the Mac and I've got a uh, XLR Marantz MPM1000 mic that goes inside the Scarlett 212 audio interface and yeah to begin we need to download this Soundflower 2.0 type it into Google and I think just choose the first option and you download the DMG file, Soundflower 2.0 B2. And after you've installed this program, go over to your audio MIDI setup, audio devices in the Mac. So you click on the launch pad, and over here with the audio MIDI setup, click on that. And the first time you open, it will have your built in input and built in output and if you have an audio interface it will come up here or a USB mic and what you want to do is you want to create an aggregate device and a multi output device so you'll be able to record the screen audio and your mic so you go to the plus sign and the first one will come up is the aggregate device and you choose Soundflower 2 channel and just below it will be your audio interface or your mic if you have a USB mic you can select that and then just below it press plus sign and create a multi output device just below it and then over there you choose Sunflower 2 channel and your built-in output um, pretty much the sound that comes out from uh, the computer I'm using just a pair of headphones if you choose the Scarlett 212 then you have to plug your headphones into the audio interface and then after that you go to your sound setup in the preferences of the Mac so usually Apple sign system preferences and then the sound make sure the output is selected to multi output devices and your input is selected to aggregate device right and what else uh, this also in the screen flow program as well you need to choose because i'm recording at the moment i can't really show you but i've took a screenshot in the screen uh, screen flow you choose under the preferences for the sound you choose aggregate devices and that will record your microphone and your audio interface as well and the last bit that you want to do is whatever program you're using I'm using Logic Pro if you wanted to record video tutorials you go into Logic Pro preferences audio for the output device you choose multi output device and your input is the I'm using the Scarlett 212 audio interface or if you're having a USB mic select that option and yep so if I press play it will record the Logic Pro sound and I can record the microphone as well if you want to hear yourself on the mic there's a little input monitoring on there now I can hear myself as well in the headphones with a bit of a delay and yeah I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna close that and lastly if you want to record the sound from YouTube it will do that as well so just to recap I'm running Mac MacBook I'm using a MacBook Pro using uh, OS High Sierra I've got an audio interface Scarlett 212 with the uh, XLR mic the Marantz MPM 1000 I've downloaded Soundflower 2.0 from the internet and 
yeah, it's just a couple of settings that you have to kind of took me a bit of time to, to, to figure out but once you get it uh, you'll be able to, to do your own YouTube tutorials so it's the audio devices create aggregate device create a multi output device in the aggregate device choose Soundflower 2 channel choose your audio interface at the bottom and then the multi output devices choose Soundflower and the built in output the sound will come out from your computer and then plug in your headphones and that's about it you can go ahead and do your own video tutorials for logic or machine or reason and it's a cool way to get your videos out so that's it for this tutorial this is my method of how I use to record using ScreenFlow so there is other ways as well you can use QuickTime there's a couple of other programs but I prefer ScreenFlow or you can use QuickTime as well and that is all for today